So we're going to do a procedure today. It will be a, uh, a wrist joint aspiration. And this young lady here uh, has agreed to let us put this on a YouTube video. Are you okay with that, ma'am? She oh, just yeah. she said, <laughs> all right, go for it. Just kill me. All right. So, so what are you going to do first? So the first thing is you want to find your landmarks, just like for any joint aspiration. So we'll talk about those a little bit. First thing is in order to kind of get set in the appropriate manner, you want to have the patient deviate their wrist ulnarly. She's having a little tenderness because her wrist hurts. <laughs> yeah. And put yeah. it in about, in about 20 to 30 degrees of flexion. Now okay. what I'm looking for here is I'm looking to find the joint space and I'm going to use uh, extensor pollicis longus tendon as my predominant landmark and I want to go just ulnarly to it in the joint space. All so right. a couple other things I can palpate to find that is I like the anatomic snuff box as a landmark in general just because it I find it helpful it's easy to find even when the joint is, or even when the tissue is swollen like in this patient. From there I can track proximally and find Lister's tubercle which is on the uh, which is just on the radius here. Okay. So I'm finding Lister's tubercle, which is on the lateral part of the radius, and I'm palpating dorsally. And right through mm -hmm. Lister's tubercle runs EPL, which I can feel very well. Okay. Uh, now, if she does, if she extends. To prove that to myself, uh, can you give me a thumbs up, ma'am? I can feel EPL moving. You can, if I can pull back the skin, you can kind of see it tracking right there. Okay. And there I can feel it moving. So you're just going to go on happy. the ulnar side of the extensor pollicis longus. Correct. So I'm feeling EPL right here. And now I'm moving ulnarly to where I find the joint space has opened up nicely from my ulnar deviation and the little bit of flexion that we've caused. Okay. Okay, we're just going to leave an indention here. I'm sorry, man. It's going to hurt just a little bit. All right. So we're just going to anesthetize for now. Yeah. There we go. Now, all right, so there we go. Oh. It's real cold, huh? <laughs> it's It's real nice, though, when it comes to, you know, getting stuck. You don't feel it as bad. There's not going to be a huge amount of uh, fluid come out of that joint. Agreed. So if we get one cc, I'm going to be um, happy with that. What what size needle do you have? Twenty two. Twenty two. Good. <clears throat> Lots of pressure here, son. Oh goodness. It's a, a little bit sanguineous coming out, but mm -hmm. um, but I think it's uh, that's about what I expected to get out of there. So that's good. So we'll, what are you going to order on this, Frank? So it's all kind of differential. It's going to be my crystals too. Get a culture if on we have a, If we have enough for, yeah. then I would want crystals and a culture as well. Yeah. All right. Question is, how much do I need for that? Not a whole lot. I think right. this we should be able to get all that on this. I think. Awesome.